So I've painted this cabinet door with my fringe blue one-step paint. Here's the great option. With the one-step paint, you don't have to seal it if you don't want to. And it's got this beautiful matte finish that is cleanable and durable. But maybe you have a piece that you want to add a little bit of age to and make it look antique. So we can do that with waxes. I prefer not to age the surface with sandpaper, but use the waxes in order to do that. So we're going to start with our light antique wax, which is a combination of carnauba and beeswax. Load your brush up. That way you make sure your brush is completely saturated. Offload onto just a little piece of cardboard to make sure you don't put too much wax on your surface. And you want to make sure that you go over the entire piece. Usually I'll come back with my hand just to make sure that I've got a nice saturated application, but not too, too thick. Load up your brush just a little bit more. Always offload. Get it down in the crevices really well and you're gonna have this beautiful coating of natural beeswax. Now the great thing about it is, if you wanna be able to come back and add some age to it, it's gonna be really dramatic on this French blue. It's gonna take very little dark wax, but I do wanna make sure that this light antique wax has come to tack before I add any dark wax to it. Otherwise, the two are going to meld together and create an undesirable light brown. So, I feel good about having enough of this light antique wax on here. So I'm going to come back with my dark antique wax. Now remember, I'm setting this brush aside that I just used because I don't want to use the same brush with my dark antique wax. I've got a completely clean new brush, a chip brush, load it up, make sure you always offload it. The whole idea of using the dark wax is to add age and depth and an element of texture and detail. So I'm gonna start around the outside first. A lot of people make the mistake of coming right dead center in the cabinet. Always start around the outside because that's where the piece would have gotten dirty first. So just very, very lightly, just like you're brushing the top of this cabinet door. Now, I can tell already I've got just a little bit too much wax. I'm gonna offload it just a little bit more and come back very, very lightly. See how already, see how much that's showing up? That's why I talk about with people when they're wanting to age something, they make the mistake of adding way too much dark wax. And I want it to load up more on these edges. It's gonna give it a really pretty detail. Now, after I've come around the outside just a little bit, I'm gonna work my way into the inside. Now, watch how I'm very carefully just going to just dust it with just a little bit. Look how I'm also moving my brush around. The whole reason for that is you can't see the size of the tool or the width of the brush that I'm using. And it also comes back and kind of softens that out. As I'll work in X's like this, now watch as I come on to this, this area here. I'm very subtle. People make the mistake of putting on way too much wax. So I'm glad to be working on this light color so you can see the subtlety of it. Now very carefully, I'm gonna come down in here because as a rule on a piece of furniture, if you've got this detail down in here, dirt wouldn't have gotten down in there. Dust would get down in there, which is a great opportunity if you want to, to add the dust of ages. But I'm primarily concerned right now just about adding this darker wax. So I'm gonna be really careful. Look at that, what a major difference. If you're wanting to antique something, this can really do it very quickly and very easily. Just be careful not to add too much wax. Allow it to dry about 20 or 30 minutes, then come back and buff it with a lint-free rag. You are going to lose a little bit of this dark wax as you start to buff it. Don't come back and reapply it, but you're gonna have a beautiful, brilliant finish. Now, it's your turn to enjoy the Grabbing Lights. <laughs>